fine for now. I can turn it off. It's just oh, a biome! I found a biome! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> No, I already muted you. You're good. Okay. I don't care about literally anything. Uh, count down when you're ready to start. Wait, we're not transitioned onto the right thing. But... Yet. Yeah, oh, I can fix that. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Count down when you're ready. I was about so, to say. Oh, down domain first, right? Yes. What? No. no. I'm talking to you. Wait, with oh, with sound, with sound. Don't with cheat. Sound. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm using sound. Don't worry. Alright, right, I'm ready. Also, if you can turn Discord up or bio. Discord up? Okay, just give me one sec. And then just count down whenever you're ready. Should be better now. Alright, you count down. Do you have. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't matter for me, just, just go. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna start. 3, 2, one, go. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Right. Good, Good luck, luck Obaya. Alright, so... Welcome to the best category of DD Kong Racing. Yeah. Pure <laughs> gameplay. Pure gameplay, no bad bosses, no bad cutscene skips, only skills, a little bit right. of RNG, but uh, no, mostly just skill. So uh, the first thing you're going to see, um, uh, we're in car, you might hear it through my mic. Um, we tap the A button about five times a second, and it basically just makes you go a little bit faster than the top speed. Yeah. And I think Obaya is going to talk a little more than me because I literally just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's what, like eleven where you live, twelve. Yeah, I don't work. I'm going out at like 5:30 tomorrow <laughs> because uh, I'm working. So yeah, we're just tapping a, drifting around, and uh... oh god, I'm not playing well. <laughs> don't worry, I won't. <laughs> I, I I I didn't get any practice whatsoever before this run, so I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so basically, whenever we use a boost, we release the A button, and we get a much better boost than with we would hold the A button. And uh, you could do do cool stuff like what I just did. Um, you fly in the air, and when you're in the air, you don't use uh, much speed at all, so you yeah. can go much faster. Yeah, and one of the inter inter interesting thing about being in the air is also that if you use the joystick, you can actually change your position in the air, and that will be helpful sometimes. By, for example, holding holding up will push you down, and uh, holding uh, down will push you up. So. Fuck, it's my alarm. <laughs> That's it. I'll turn it off at this race. Nice alarm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be done soon. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you're already done. You're a bit ahead. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, me and Giz, we've been rivals in this game for a long time. So when yep. we race, we are really competitive. Yeah. Like, we have... Like, Obaya started playing this game around six months before I did. And I think, I think it took like two months. <laughs> Something like that. We became rivals and we have been rivals since, so it's really fun to race a bio. 
So, uh, you know, we might take jabs at each other a little bit. <laughs> Keeping track of where each other is in the run. Because we don't want to lose to the other, for sure. It's like a pride thing. I have to win against Giz and he has to win against me. Yeah. Okay, so in that level we are we're out of bounds, as you might, might uh, saw. So, what we basically did is that we boost under the lava and we boost under the... Uh, like, the, the wall is not that far underneath. But the developers didn't think that you could. We were supposed to barrel roll underneath the lava, and what you do there is that you basically bounce on the lava and under the wall, and then just up on the other side. And uh, yeah, so this game is built on on checkpoints that are put on the uh, on the map, so the game knows where you are. And when you're out of bounds, then you're just basically. Uh, Trying to hit the important triggers or checkpoints that the game has, uh, so they like they think that your progress to the track normally, and not through, through like some out of bounds stuff. Yeah, I don't think you need to uh, hit all the triggers, but there's a couple like main triggers that you have to hit so that the game doesn't yeah. like freak out and s says you're going the wrong way. Yeah, that wasn't really good. <laughs> uh, Overcraft is really, really hard. Um, not only you have to snake a bunch and tap the A button, it, it, it hurts your hands, but just keeping your speed and having good boost in Overcraft is extremely hard. It's, yeah. e it's really easy to lose time. And as you can see in Hovercraft, we go back and forth a lot. And it's that when you hold the R button and you turn, uh, the game gives you a small speed boost. Uh, I think it's because the uh, developers wanted to make turns a little smoother in Hovercraft. And uh, what we do is that we like wiggle back and forth so that the, we go in a straight line but we get the speed benefit from the turn. Also, another thing that's cool about ATR is that we don't have to go uh, collect the keys. So, for example, we won't have to jump into the water here and use like 20 seconds. Yeah. We just just do the racing. Just do the race and go fast. Yeah. So that's a common thing. If you do a run without bunking, you're a god. <laughs> you're going to bunk at some point. Yeah. This category, no, well, not this category, but this game is very difficult to be very consistent at. And we have noticed, like, we have, uh, <laughs> we do a lot of mistakes all the time, it feels like. But this category is the category that mainly me and the bio have pushed down a, a huge amount. Like, in the last year and a half, we've pushed it down by a minute and a half. So. Which is a lot for such a short category. Yeah. For sure. And it's only gameplay, so it's like nothing nothing new, uh, like strat-wise, just that we are better at playing. Optimizations and stuff. Yeah. I think almost every single lap uh, track in the game got optimized, like in the past few years. Yeah, for sure. We, what, we, we personally asked to, uh, like, improve the ground by a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's something that's really interesting about this game, like, the skill cap is insanely high, so, uh... So yeah, it's, like, really impossible to reach the maximum, uh, capacity of this game. But we are, like, trying to find new stuff and we're trying to push it as much as we can. Yeah, for example, like, you have to see the car, the overcraft, and the plane. And nobody in DKR history has been capable of mastering all three at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Even me and Giz are really, really good at plane. And then Giz is also really good at car. 
but like none of none of none of us are good, is good at overcraft. And then you have other players that are really really good at overcraft, but not necessarily at playing on car and stuff like that. Yeah. I think a play player called Nordic Boa is probably the closest to being very very good at all vehicles. But he's mainly a time trailer and not uh, a speed on Earth. He does have speed on times and stuff, but he uh, he has not put any focus on it in it at all. So he's basically just doing IELTS. I would say he's probably the best all around player. Yeah. But not necessarily like a specialist in anything. But maybe maybe overcraft actually. Yeah, but he has a lot of low records in car uh, and time trials. Yeah. It's really interesting to see, uh, like, the different. Not only that, but if you look at me and Giz, we have different playstyle of playing. And we're usually considered the best two at playing, but we play pretty differently. I mean, there's some things to do the same, but. In general, we're pretty, you know, we do little things that are different. And it's really interesting to like see the different like, one hundred things. <laughs> but yeah. See the like the different play styles and stuff. Yeah, for sure. We have uh I think the main difference between us and plane is the usage of the B button. Yes. So You're using like sharper I... movements and I'm using more like uh, fine movement, I'm not sure what, how to call it, but like, yeah. you're doing more like big, big turns and I'm doing like smaller turns. So Giz, you, if you watch us play plane, uh, you know, for the next plane tracks, he turns a lot more with holding R, and I turn a lot more when doing RB, what we call it. So if you use B, you can like, get like sharper turns, but you also lose a little bit of speed because you use the B button. Um, but yeah, that's the difference. Like he goes for a little bit wider turn, but doesn't do that much speed. But I use a little bit more speed, but I turn a bit sharper. And yep. the funny thing is, we usually have pretty much the same time everywhere. Yeah. Like very or like very close. So it doesn't even that matter. It's just like a different playstyle. Yeah, and if you if you go to like through the uh, oh, world record history and a lot of the uh, playing tracks. In time trials, you will see a lot of switching back and forth between me and the bio. And basically no one else is close. Which is interesting. Very interesting, because I don't think it's the hardest one to be good at. No, I think but it's just... Like, the, the threshold of actually learning playing is the hardest. Yes. <laughs> like, it took a very long time to understand what you were supposed to do. Snowball clap. So that's a, something that's really interesting about the as well is that it feels like you can have a lot of different playstyles and still like reach the same uh, like results. And like I was talking about a little earlier, but I think it's the same the case in like every vehicle. And you can see that like if you watch different kind of runner like different runners, you will see that we have a little bit different playstyles and approaches, and we can still like get the bar around the same times. Yeah. It's really cool, but it feels a bit like, you know how in Melee, they, they say like, you can see the difference between two sheep and stuff, like two foxes. You, like, you can know who's playing behind, it's a little bit the same with DKR, where if you watched, like, two, if you didn't know who was playing, playing, and you would like, put two, uh, game, game feed next to each other, like, you could probably tell who's playing. Yeah. Sure. So like you can you can kind of express like who we are through uh, like how you play. Yeah, Obayo has this YOLO fast style, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think mine is more like more like controlled but still like semi YOLO ish. And if you watch a runner like let's say Topo or uh, Kale W, you will see that they are like it feels like. It almost looks like they are going slow, but they are super fast because they have like so much control of the vehicle. I 
That wasn't a terrible situation. Where are you right now? I just uh, entered the, the, the last trophy. Oh, no, the last. The, uh, the last trophy. The drag, dragon trophy. Uh, dragon trophy. All right, I'm watching the cutscene. I'm a bit behind. It's fine. I'm usually stronger at the end game. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. And it's also the artist, so it can go. Re it can still go either way. Yeah, I mean it's like 10 seconds apart max. Yeah. It's not much in this category. It's a lot of stuff. That can happen. These eight tracks that we have left. So this is one of the least liked level, I think. Oh my god! Okay. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> so I think this is one of the le least liked level, and Giz is going to agree with that. It's personally probably my favorite level. I think it's really interesting how you can go fast with hovercraft in this level. Yeah, I just get stuck in a log, which also can happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, logs in this level are deadly. You do not want to touch logs. It's it's a good thing it's only in this level, and uh, one of the boss in adventure mode. But you don't have to yeah. deal with that here. Oh god, I got logged as well. Oh, pixie! Oh, they destroyed like pixie. <laughs> I think you're catching up here because this is a. Uh... Uh, yeah, a lot of things went wrong here. I mean, it's going to be about the 120, I think. Sure what yeah, I got a 123. <laughs> okay, hold on. Or something like that. Yeah, I got logged hard. <laughs> That's fine, though. <laughs> Greenwood Village. And this Greenwood Village is uh, an interesting track because casual players usually think that this is like the by far hardest track just because it has so many turns and stuff. But. Like in speedrunning, not really the harder tracks. Like, it's not really one of the harder, it's kind of straightforward. But like, I talked about like, you can pos uh, change your position in the air, and that's something we do here. Like, when we boost ourselves over the hill, we hold up. So we don't have to spend as much time in the air, because since there's a turn right there, we want to... Um, you want to touch the ground as fast as possible so you can turn. Exactly. It's like something I didn't know like two months ago. And then Giz randomly told me to do that and I started... Like my laps went 0.5 seconds faster. Yeah. Just because I was holding up at that place. So it's really important. Because you know that's 1.5 second at the end of the day. Just by doing that simple thing. Dude that's the third spike ball. <laughs> that I hit. <laughs> destroyed. That's sometimes, you know, there's not much RNG in a, a Ultra Free Races, but sometimes you get screwed. Yeah, so you can use the shield for that tunnel thing. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just got sniped in a place I've never been sniped. This is the beginning of yes. the little place. Yes. What the hell? Okay. I'll decide there before. <laughs> okay, I missed the out-of-bounds. What the hell? No, Bobayo. Well, that's the race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, out-of-bounds is very difficult. The artist out-of-bounds in the and, game, for sure. Yeah, and it's only used by top runners, basically. A couple of runners that are like mid-tier use it, uh, which is interesting. Because it's very difficult, but uh, yeah, it was considered like unusable for runs back in the day. But me and uh, a runner called the uh, free runner guys for we finally found a strat <laughs> after a long time that was kind of uh, assistant. I missed a game. All right, well, whatever. Uh, it, it can happen. Second. No. Uh, that out of bounds is extremely hard, and you know that's the risk in races. If you miss it, then you lose like 40 seconds. 40 is maybe a little much. Oh, we mean for both laps? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like 40 seconds. It's like 20 seconds per lap. You miss. It's fine. I'll get the one ten speed. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that, dude.
Alright, 149, let's Come go. On. Come on, that's amazing. 140, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> I'm done with Hollywood Woods now. Dang, I'm just starting. Alright. Well, I'm a whole track behind, but it's fine, guys. That's same for sub estimate. <laughs> that's, you'll get it. Okay, now it's time for a future pump end for me. This is the hardest level in the game, in my opinion. Even though playing is supposed to be my specialty. <laughs> it's a very hard, like, there are so many things that can go wrong this level. Like, you clip through balloons, zipper is not registering, bonking, look at that, I clipped through that balloon right there. Like, there's a lot of stuff that can happen that would want to screw you over in this level. But for some reason, it doesn't want to do that for, to a bio, but to every other player. Yeah, for some reason, I have really good time on that track, but everybody else is struggling. Alright, let's go. <laughs> that was <laughs> interesting. So, because I'm behind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna YOLO, see if I can get a really, really good one for you guys. It, it looks pretty sick when you do no mistakes. Wow. Yeah. I just gotta click through a balloon and no zipper register. And it's shut down. So you can catch up a bunch here. I'm gonna destroy it. This is gonna be a 121. I'm gonna completely destroy it on that 3. It was 114 pace after first plan, for about almost 8 seconds on the stage. So that's what happens on, uh, on this level when things are going wrong. And when we do this run, usually we uh, we start with Future Funland and go uh, towards Science Domain. Just because we want to get rid of the difficult levels first. And since so this category is just about beating the races as fast as you can, it doesn't matter which order you do them. So we just start with Future Fun then. Alright, 112. Nice. <laughs> nice. That is a really good, good time for like a, a no reset like that. Yeah. So hope you enjoyed the artist track. Done fairly well. Yeah, because mine wasn't. <laughs> mine was. <laughs> I would, I would kind of easily gotten a 114 if uh, all that stuff didn't happen on the on the uh, third lap. That's right. Dark? This level is actually the uh, the only level that has a potential skip. Uh, I didn't do it now. I just <laughs> remembered. To I, I'm gonna try. It. It I, I have to try yeah. it now. <laughs> yeah. So Bias gonna try it on the third lap at the end of the third lap. So this is this is a skip that I found uh, randomly uh, when I did ultra first attempts uh, like a year and a half ago. The, it was uh, back in October uh, 2015 and. I hit an oil slick and I just randomly fell out of the track and I landed inside of the track again and I skipped one of the loops. And uh, yeah, Obaya will try to, to get it because you can just crash into the correct place and you will skip one of the loops. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's really hard to do, it's extremely precise. Yeah, it's like 1 in 20 that we top runners get it. But yeah. It's very, very difficult. And it seems like a second and a half, so it's not really a big deal. But it's just cool that you can fly out of bounds in the in the car and it actually saves time in the level. By the way, whoever is on time, uh, we have this track in the next one left. Time. 
successor Star City. This is Star City. And after Star City, uh, this is Space for Alpha. And when we cross the finish line for this race, then the run the, uh, is over. So yeah. For this level, we will have another Out of Bounds. Uh, but this Out of Bounds is only available in the Japanese version. Because, for some reason, they forgot a texture over this thing here. And you can just, like, boost yourself up. <laughs> it's really weird, but that's how it works. So we can gotta bounce here. And complete the level really faster. Saves like 25 seconds ish. So yeah, more. Times. Yeah, I'm on the last lap now. And beating a bio is obviously the most. <laughs> The best. best thing to do in this game. <laughs> and time. Twenty four fifty three on your end. Twenty four fifty three? Yep. Nice. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good time. For no reset, it's respectable for sure. Yeah, it's a uh, like it's a top five time. I think. I think like um, fourth, let's see, third, third okay, to six, uh, third to fifth place. Okay. Yes. Nice and then twenty-five, thirty-five. All right, <laughs> not terrible. <laughs> Sub estimate, yeah. boys. Nice. Yeah. He lost like 45 seconds in Women's Planes. Yeah, that's 45 seconds in Women's Planes alone. Otherwise, it would have been a really close race. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the rest of Legion Dash. Yeah, thanks for running. No, no problem, problems. man. And thanks for taking us in.